Vertical Functional Approach In a functional structure, also called a U-form, unitary structure, activities are grouped together by common function from the bottom to the top of the organization. 37. The functional structure groups positions into departments based on similar skills, expertise, work activities, and resource use. A functional structure can be thought of as departmentalization by organizational resources because each type of functional activity, accounting, HR, engineering, and manufacturing, represents specific resources for performing the organization's task. People, facilities, and other resources representing a common function are grouped into a single department. One example is Bluebell Creameries, which relies on in-depth expertise in its various functional departments to produce high-quality ice cream for a limited regional market. The Quality Control Department, for example, tests all incoming ingredients and ensures that only the best go into Bluebell's ice cream. Quality inspectors also test outgoing products and, because of their years of experience, can detect the slightest deviation from expected quality. Bluebell also has functional departments such as Sales, Production, Maintenance, Distribution, Research and Development, R&D, and Finance. 38. How it works. Refer to Exhibit 10.1 on page 323 for an example of a functional structure. The major departments under the President are groupings of similar expertise and resources, such as accounting, HR, production, and marketing. Each of the functional departments is concerned with the organization as a whole. The marketing department is responsible for all sales and marketing, for example, and the accounting department handles financial issues for the entire company. The functional structure is a strong vertical design. Information flows up and down the vertical hierarchy and the chain of command converges at the top of the organization. In a functional structure, people within a department communicate primarily with others in the same department to coordinate work and accomplish tasks or implement decisions that are passed down the hierarchy. Managers and employees are compatible because of similar training and expertise. Typically, rules and procedures govern the duties and responsibilities of each employee, and employees at lower hierarchical levels accept the right of those higher in the hierarchy to make decisions and issue orders. Functional Advantages and Disadvantages Grouping employees by common task permits economies of scale and efficient resource use. For example, at U.S. Airways, all information technology, IT people, work in the same large department. They have the expertise and skills to handle almost any issue related to IT for the organization. Large, functionally based departments enhance the development of in-depth skills because people work on a variety of related problems and are associated with other experts within their own department. Because the chain of command converges at the top, the functional structure also offers a way to centralize decision-making and provide unified direction from top managers. The primary disadvantages reflect barriers that exist across departments. Because people are separated into distinct departments, communication and coordination across functions are often poor, causing a slow response to environmental changes. Innovation and change require involvement of several departments. Another problem is that decisions involving more than one department may pile up at the top of the organization and be delayed.